Motion Lab uses a computer to combine data or information from um, different body parts. Most gait labs are directed by orthopedists. Because I've always had this interest, especially in upper extremity function, just thought there was so much more these labs can do. So typically a motion lab is focused on children with a diagnosis of cerebral palsy. We are also considering children with um, a diagnosis of muscular dystrophy, hereditary spastic paraplegia, children with dystonia. We've been fortunate enough to study some of these children prior to any kind of surgical intervention, them have the surgery, and then them return to us so that we can objectively measure the improvements that were made um, by those certain interventions. We have been evaluating children pre and post surgical interventions such as a deep brain stimulator. It will add greatly to the literature on the deep brain stimulator as well as um, the capabilities of what we can do in a motion analysis lab. Because of the technology in the motion lab that's been provided for us by our donors, we now have objective information to develop treatment plans for these children. For movement analysis, we have um, our 3D infrared cameras that pick up our sensors um, and that simulate a child um, in a 3D image on our computer. In addition to that, we use wireless EMG sensors on their muscles. We also have over 12 force plates hidden in the floor. By integrating a sophisticated harness uh, device into the lab, then with our interventions, are we supporting less of their body weight over time? We have our planner pressure mapping system that allows us to map the child's foot. We have also incorporated a new projected rehab system into our lab, and so we've been very aggressive about adopting this technology um, and using it to treat children before they develop all the secondary complications like joints that won't move and bones that are bent in the wrong direction. We found out about Walt, we were in the process to adopt from Ethiopia and we were on a very long wait list and we found out about this incredible little boy that had some special needs. We reached out to Cook Children's before he was even home. So today is our first time here at the Motion Lab and it has been an incredible experience so far. He's definitely demonstrated a good improvement in his ability to walk. Um, he has started to run and is now able to play soccer with his brothers and sisters, which was a big goal of his. I witnessed a little boy just come to life. Now he's just a different child. He's excited and engaged. I think that that will only continue by using the technology that we have here at, at Cook Children to help him along his, his journey. We have done uh, just over 125 patients in our first year of, of operation. We have changed several surgical plans or, or answered the questions in a way that really altered the plans of what we had in mind originally. And our next big venture will be to move it into the sports arena. Our, our first efforts are really going to be at understanding what's normal for children, uh, but our ultimate goal is really for injury prevention so that children can actively participate in sports but do it in a healthy manner that doesn't cause so many injuries. When you are able to give a child the opportunity to be their greatest self um, with the least restrictions, that's, that's what it's all about. And we are thankful to have the support of a very uh, forward-thinking hospital board of directors, system board, uh, and a very generous community that helped fund a large portion of the lab.